All right, let's go ahead and knock out all the stuff I got for February up to, you know, now. <laughs> all kinds of goodies. Um, it's been a while, so it all accumulated, you know. Um, as for this page, as an update, you know, I've been slacking, you know. Um, I had an update in the last video. Um, the VA pushed my appointment to get my teeth done, you know, to April, almost to May again, but, um... It really put me in a funk, you know, really had me depressed, and, um, I was at a low point, you know, so I had to wait, um, motiv motivating myself to get back up again. <laughs> I know you're getting tired of those videos, but until this, uh, uh um, surgery gets, uh, done, I'm always gonna be in that funk until then, but, um, waiting for Sony to put out their new TVs to see if I'm, uh, up great to their newest ones or just get the last year models because of mine is kind of outdated now and uh before i get these movie reviews up i want to get you know like to the best i can at the moment you know with what i'm working with <laughs> so a lot of just delay 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 let's get started with the movies before i jump into the games okay Got uh, avengers end game i got the target edition anything that has the target edition i'm um, basically going to try to get first you know because i started off with those um i really love their cover over the uh what's it the steel book version the standard edition also their own 4k slip cover looks also good compared to the slip cover which i ain't really i mean not a slip cover but a steel book which i'm not feeling but um even so this was brand new somebody opened it up and took the digital code out <laughs> and i guess they returned it back to target so that was kind of weird you know um sometimes that happens you know uh, some some of these um con people <laughs> they are really good compared to some of the sorry ones and this was a real good one because the way they resealed it with the original um plastic was amazing i couldn't tell and they had you know made in mexico still on the back and so they did some great conning <laughs> but i don't care about digital anyway so just to have the physical stuff it's fine by me i mean i got it for cheap anyway i got a scoop i got this for like t under ten dollars so with the slip cover i love scooby-doo you know i don't like uh some of the newer series but uh, i love me some scooby-doo you know regardless the old school movies and I've heard some good stuff about this one too, so I scooped it up for the low ski. In great condition on top of that. <laughs> and yes, I waited for all this to come down in price. The PS5 4K movie Essential Collection. Um, man, they had this price for thirty dollars. I warn everybody: do not get it for thirty dollars. Wait till they go down in price to the regular uh, 4K movie prices. Some of these um slip covers for the originals you can't get anyways, you know. Um they're going buku prices cuz they're out of print for the first prints, you know, for for years ago. So some of these slip covers, you know, great. There's two of those that didn't come with slip covers, so let's get those. We're also a plus. Anyways, we got Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse. Great movie. I love it. Got Venom. You can still find the original co uh, uh, slip cover, but it was at a good price with the other ones, so might as well buy that version. And here's the original one. Apparently, I bought this before getting the other one, and I forgot I did because I got it in a bundle. But hey, it came with the original slip cover, and this is starting to go rare. <laughs> You're not finding too many of these at a good price no more. Um, unfortunately, this had to be like in a, a movie store or whatever for rentals or whatever because it got the sticker, like not over the, you know, the big sticker over the whole disc, but just around, you know, the middle part of the disc. It, it looked like it's easy to come off anyway, so it's not a, ooh, a big deal, you know, because some of those um, rental ones that got on um, them stickers is hell to get off. So I got the original slip cover as well. But that's awesome. Uh, I got another stack, but 
I showed this off probably in the last one. I probably got some of the old other ones I showed off in the stack, but like I said I didn't have to shelf at the time, so I just pulled all what I had out on the floor, you know, whatever was laying about. Got to um, do the right thing. Uh, how would you say this? Asylum. Scoop that up with slip cover. On a good price. It pays to look up Blu-ray.com. And just hound, you know, the deal section, you know. Because they update daily on their deals. And Amazon, you know, they constantly go to prices. So before they have their, you know, big, big, big deal days. You can still find it at the same price of those deal days, you know. Before that happens at a low price, regardless, you know. Like Blade, it was finally put down at a good price with the slip cover still. Oh, I waited for this to go down in price for a while. I, I thought they weren't going to do it, but they did. Scooped it up. Great movie. I hope they put the second one out soon, too. Here's one of the movies that didn't have a slip cover. You got Bloodshot. Scoop that up. Nice. All the excuse me, essentials went down in price, so I had to get those. I'm just showing off all the 4K ones first. And here's the second one that didn't have a slip cover. That's Pineapple Express. Hilarious movie. I love it. Ah, uh, yes. Here's the other one I showed off in the other video. I had up the. 4K release ones, and here's the other ones. They live. I I got these of the deluxe editions that came with a figurine, action figure, <laughs> and it came with like like two candies or whatever that say obey or whatever. You know, I guess little prompts or whatever you want to call them. Um, but these are different from the actual collector edition slip covers that I usually come out with. You know, so. This one's still good, you know. Finally on 4K, scooped it up. Yeah, I know I'm double dipping, but hey. Some of them 4K movies look way better than, you know, the actual Blu-rays. Not huge, but I mean, like, compared to sound and some of the colors and brightness, it's worth it to me. Here's one of the movies I'm talking about. The original slipcover is hard to find at a good price. You know, when you do see a slipcover, it's over $100. I suggest just get an essential one, okay? The slip cover looked better than the original anyways. Scoop that up. I refuse to pay $30 for each of these. Got it for like at least uh, anywhere from 14 to 19 A lot better than 30 Here's something in which only two of their movies are on 4K. The first on the world. Once again, hard to find the slip cover. <laughs> and then you have um Blood Wars, which is like what the fourth the fourth in the series or whatever. They need to put the other three movies on 4K. I, I can't stand the old C D is hitting hard. Here there's missing movies in between. And if you got the Blu-rays in between the four K it just looks horrible. They need to put the others out, at least put a box set. The other Spider-Man that came with the bundle, Far From Home, with the original slip cover. And so they're starting to go rare too, you know, might as well scoop those up if you find the originals. Um, once again, it got the little nasty rental sticker on the middle, but it's not bad to peel off. Unfortunately, this one is missing the uh, the Blu-ray. It only has the 4K version, so I'm going to find a cheap Blu-ray because it, this movie hasn't been out that long, you know, so I can still find, you know, the movies singly by itself. It shouldn't cost that much. And the third one that came in the bundle, Homecoming with a, a slip cover. Yes, I love my slip covers, especially with 4K movies. Sound kind of loose. I'm have to put that up. And I don't think this has the uh, Randall sticker on. I haven't looked, you know, but um, it's, it's not that hard. <laughs> then we have Possessor on cut. 
This was at a good price. Slip cover. Scooped it up anyways. Haven't seen it, so I don't know. It's a blind uh, watch for me. Uh, let's get in with the Blu-rays. Paramount. And um, this is another company, Kino. They're putting some of their classic movies out. Um, finally, they're putting some of these movies we've been requesting for out with Paramount. Of course, they're putting out some other ones we don't care about and stuff we question about. But finally, we get some good ones. We got Mouse Hunt. Uh, this is a classic here. Go watch this. Ah, come on, Gator. We got some more. Yeah. Jetsons, the movie. Oh, man. This brought, brings back some memories. Some good memories of my childhood. Had to get this. I recommend this. In fact, I'm going to re-show off another one I got up there that's hard to find, period. But I'll show it in a moment. We've got Good Burger. Yeah. Finally on Blu-ray. Highly requested. Finally out. Would have been nice if this went to um, Shop Factory or another company, you know. That way we get all the bonuses. But... Paramount is one of those hard companies, you know, if they did some, uh, I think they still got to deal with um, Criterion. And I think Criterion at one point was, I'm not sure, now don't, don't quote me on that, but Good Burgers finally out. Scooped that up for a good price. Wish it had a slip cover. Paramount is not good with that. And when they do it's for their own little collection or whatever. Let's see here. Okay, we got some more on the bottom. Go ahead and got search. Small Soldiers. I highly recommend this movie too. It's an instant classic with me. Um, it's starting to get a little outdated, but it's still a great movie. Yours, Minds, and Ours. It's kind of like one of those other cheaper by the dozen type movies, you know. Somehow I think one of my cats stepped on it. And I said I uh, did have stuff on the floor at one point, you know. And um, they knock it over and some step on it. It's so disrespectful. <laughs> but it's okay. Got Ladybugs. This this brings back some memories too. It's a crazy movie. Alright. Got Jay and Silent Bob reboot with a slip cover. Got this for a real cheap, cheap price. And the two movies I showed that I said, um, usually... The horror pack starts putting in the RLJE films. I had to scoop these up. They were at a good price for the slip covers. And that's Arch Enemy. Oh man, I really love this, the slip cover. You know, the, the work on it. I just love how they did it. It may not look too much to you, but to me, you know, oh, I had to scoop that up. <laughs> so they did a, a kind of the same thing with Random Acts of Violence. I, I like the slip cover, so like both those I had to scoop up. Then we got my bloody Valentine, and this was also a deluxe. Um, I probably showed this uh, when I first got it. Maybe not. I don't know. Steel book. I gotta go back and get some of these steel books I'm missing, and like the Halloween ones. Oh uh, man, I passed up on them. I kind of regret it because I didn't want those. Posters because some of the posters look ugly, you know some of the artwork I didn't improve up like um uh, Big trouble in China they redid and it looked like Jack was farting a uh, lightning uh, I, Man Got the golden child I do have the slip cover, but uh, It started peeling on one side, so I got to re -glue, uh, glue one of the edges that's peeling but I do have it in the back Bam! This is the pair of my slip covers I was talking about that the, when they do it's not the best quality anyways because it's so easy that it's not tight. It just falls out. All of them do that. They're not good with their slip covers for some odd reason but I do like how it opens up and shows off. But their collection is so ah, flimsy. I hate that. This should have been a 4K. All any other movies, why is this not a 4K? But here it is. Like I said, it started peeling. Oh my God, that's just how I got it. But it's easy to glue and just uh, some weight on it. 
but I hate that happen. <laughs> Spring Factory had two limited editions. I had to scoop those up. And they do that like once a year maybe. Um, with two, two movies. And they have it overpriced, but last time they did it, they made more copies. I don't know why they did that. Um, but hopefully they don't do it with this and that's twice dead. Let's scoop that up. So we got a double, the Terror Within and the Terror Within 2. I've seen the first one. I haven't seen the second. So those are our limited editions that's supposed to run out. They're not going to print no more. Or so they say. Hopefully they stick by it. Alright. Let's jump into the games. I started buying some Switch games, you know, since, you know, um, Super Mario had their little all-stars version and there's some games i do need to get you know they're starting to put some good prices and some that's only on a uh, switch only bravely default 2. the other two got collector's editions but this did not come with the collector's edition which is odd once again ocd kicks in <laughs> but this is a great series i recommend <clears throat> This is starting to start putting Nintendo Switch it or you know Nintendo exclusives and something I didn't expect. We have Prini 1 and 2 exploded and reloaded. I scooped it up. I'm not going to do unboxings for these like I said. Uh, not till after I get my surgery or whatever but right now I'm not feeling up to showing the contents or whatever. But um, let's say the Signia. Well, I'm pretty sad and wrong, but part six is exclusive for Switch. Huh? Hopefully, it stays exclusive because they make some PlayStation versions. I'm gonna be mad because you know I prefer my games with trophies. That way, I can go through all and see all of the game. Because once I beat it, I'm done. You know, I'm not gonna go back and be like, oh, I need to see the extra content or the stuff I haven't seen. I prefer you know trophies and achievements. I don't know why Nintendo opted out of that with the Switch. That's missed opportunity. Okay, missed opportunity. Alright, with the PlayStation. Once again, with some this good stuff. We got Atelier. Well, Atelier Grissa 2. So I, said, I got most of the games that's on PlayStation. I don't have the early ones, you know, for the PS1 or whatever. Because um, some of those are just rare now. I said the first one was a little bit more action into it. You know, it was the first, you know, to jump out of with their, their usual alchemy setup. So they did it once again with part two, which I'm looking forward to. But this is the first they've done. Sometimes they change up the boxes and this is just weird compared to the others they have. I'm sorry I didn't pull one of the others. I got it boxed up so, you know, I can do a compare. But this thing here says, why? Why are they doing the boxes? I don't, I don't know. That's weird to me. Uh, I ain't gonna say it's bad, but it's just kind of weird right now. Um, definitely gotta box this up, you know, so it don't get damaged or anything. But that's weird. <laughs> I ain't saying it's bad, it's just kind of weird. You know, I'm used to the boxes. Another this, we got Fallen Legion, uh, Revenants. <sighs> yes, this is a boxes I'm used to or the newer type fancy boxes but the big big ones I don't know that's kind of weird <laughs> Let's see, here's the new age type boxes sometimes they can be a little bit big and they can have even half the size of this which is cute to me so we got uh Neptunia virtual stars oh man Neptunia is just like the ateliers there's so many and they keep cranking out every couple months, you know. <laughs> um, in fact, they got a PS5 version that's coming up. I got a scoop up whenever they put the pre-order up for. I haven't even opened this up. There's so many games. There's this backlog, you know, of the series I haven't even started. Here's something they started doing. They're putting monthly cards out for Iffy. Here we got the February and March ones, you know. Um, I gotten some of these cards before in the past so yeah I guess that's more collection right there right once again I'm not doing no unboxing but 
I love my shade games. You know, I don't care if it's, you know, the RPGs, the tacticals, or it's just a novel. Some of those are really interesting to get into. I'm pretty sure I showed this off in the last one. I'm adding about this. Ease 9 Mushroom Nox. I really like how they did the box for this. Not that way it looked like they separated itself in the gel, whatever. I love these too. <laughs> Not as much as the Happy Gamer, but um, that excuse me, the Happy Console Gamer, but still, it's it's nice to play through. We got some great music. Ah, do I have another collector's? Yes. Once again, one of these huge box types. <laughs> Re-Zero. This thing is huge. Oh, yeah, I'll probably try to remind me right now through the thing. I got it right there. The virtual, Neptunia Virtual Girls also had vinyl. I'm not big on vinyl, but so many people are into vinyls, you know, get a soundtrack on vinyls. They say it's better than, you know, the CDs and the, the streaming that you hear today. Uh, so they prefer theirs on there. There's a couple sites that do their own video game and they limit it and they're constantly sold out and they go all out for it, you know. So I know there's some people who love their vinyl. I've got like about three or four of them, you know, my collector's edition since I started collecting, you know, with uh, Bioshock had a vinyl. Um, I can't think off the top of my head, but I know I got two more vinyls at least. And <laughs> this is getting crazy. I don't know if it's the vinyl that's getting crazy or some of those that come with backpacks. This just take up too much room. I wish they'd stop with the backpacks. <laughs> Re Zero. And this is like a, a mixture of a, a novel with some RPG elements. You know, um, I haven't really gotten much into it besides starting it. I said, I'm so huge in backlog. I said, you know, I'm still in doing the Call of Duty. I'm really running thin on Call of Duty right now because it's the same stuff. You know, I'm just playing Outbreak mostly. The multiplayer is still the same, even so Season 2 is just a uh, microtransaction is what I've seen multiplayer is for, you know. Warzone is somewhat decent, but... The regular multiplayer is just a cash grab with microtransactions. You can't earn nothing in it like you used to. Whatever free bundles is trash they put out, you know, every blue moon. And you can't buy singles, you know, the ones you do want, but they want you to buy everything in a bundle. <laughs> just greed. It's like that. They should have just kept loot crates. At least you could, you know, earn what you could get from those and choose to pay if you want to get it earlier, but... Here you got no option. There's no choice. You have to buy it. It's garbage. And they did that with Modern Warfare as well. Alright. We got Immortal Phoenix Rising. This is a, a pretty good uh, game. You know, it's a lot better than I originally thought it was going to be. I know I showed some of these early off too. They've just been laying about. So I'm just knocking it out. Devil May Cry 5. Once again, another game great to get into because, you know, have the originals, but like some of the updates look way better, you know, so it's worth it to me. Can't wait for that uh, Final Fantasy VII, um, <laughs> the, the PS5 version to come out. And, oh, man. Battlegrounds. This is a much better one than the 2K series they had out that was all glitched to hell. <laughs> Sakuna. I'm pretty sure I showed those off, but like I said, I got the shelf up to put it up and that. Where with the Apocalypse, Earth Blood, it's decent. It's not as bad as people put it out, okay? They expected a huge triple A type title and they hurt themselves, okay? I didn't have huge expectations, so I got what I thought it was, you know, so I had fun with it. Near Collection. I know I double dip on part two because I got the collect edition of part two not too long ago, but scoop that up. 
Yakuza 7 Like a Dragon and this is the Day Itchy Steelbook Edition. I choose to get the PS4 one because I waited to see if the PS5 would come with a uh, steelbook. And only, I think the Best Buy, no, there was no steelbook for the PS5. Sometimes Best Buy will have exclusive for it. So I went and got the PS4 and I'll just do the upgrade, up, update for it, for the PS5, you know, because I'm not going to pay more for the PS5 version when I can get this at $30 like I did with the Steelbook. That's a huge negative. I don't know why they're expecting day one, you know, brand new price for the PS5 version when you got it less with the Steelbook. Here's something people are complaining about. Persona 5 Strikers. Not the game itself. But the Steelbook. This is the one Persona 5 game that doesn't have a collector's edition. Or, you know, something that, that just amazed me. Because, you know, they love putting their collector's editions out. And I would have got it. But they just got a standard. But Best Buy got, you know, some deals now and then with games where it comes with a steelbook. And they had the steelbook. But some people who purchased pre-orders did not get a steelbook. You know why? Because they ran out. And people wonder why they didn't have it. So when you put it into the cart, it should have two things in your cart, not one. It should have that and the steelbook listed. Those that didn't have the steelbook listed in their cart hurt themselves because I mean you should know if it's not listed like in two that's that's on you but people were really blown about that so I'm glad I have mine <laughs> yeah, I don't mean to rub it in but hey all right I showed you all the goodies so I hope I don't have any to laying about it so it'll probably be in the next video but here's some books I showed one off before but I got to show it off again That's my Persona book. And that's with Hard uh, Core Gaming 101. They put out um, different types of books. This was a good one. I didn't get the hardcover, you know, because I didn't want to spend too much on it. As, um, they do backers now and then for certain ones. I waited just for a, a nice brand new copy. Great. I recommend. I went back. And got Watchmen. I do have the collector's edition of the Blu-ray that came with uh, the hard book. But it's, it's sealed. I don't want to open it up. So Amazon had these for dirt cheap. Like $12 to $14. So I scooped it up. Brand new. And once again I saw this on Amazon. Ah, the art of Super Mario Odyssey. This thing is huge and heavy. And this was also for fourteen dollars. Oh man, I had to scoop this up. <laughs> Got some good readings. And that's everything. I know this this video is long, but like I said, a lot of things stacked up. Finally wanted to put this out. I waited on it for too long. I wanna get it up so I can shelf it finally and get some of this stuff off the floor. You know, I ain't got a big room, but it's nice to have things up instead of laid about. So hopefully, April, when I get my teeth fixed, I can have things going smoothly. Because by then, you know, um, Sony should have their TVs out. I should have everything by now, everything upgraded. I can do more videos and sound a lot better, look a lot better. Because <laughs> this depression stuff kills, you know, and as a disabled veteran, we already down and about. Y'all take care and thanks just for being you.